So if you're taking high frequency photos or you're transferring files and they're transferring very slow to your computer, this is exactly why. So I've had like literally every type of SD card that you can literally imagine, you guys. And I've marked on every single one of them, which you probably shouldn't. But when first starting out, when first starting out in photography, what I would do is I've shot with so many different types of SD cards. I would literally put white out on the back of the SD card and I would write on it. So that I remembered which type of SD card it was. Do I recommend you doing that? No. But if you're taking high frequency photos or you're transferring files and they're transferring very slow to your computer, this is exactly why. Because you don't have a fast enough you know, SD card to keep up with your camera or to keep up with your computer. And every time you upgrade one thing inside of your entire gear kit, you have to think like, will everything here that's in my gear kit now all be able to work together still? So you may upgrade your camera and now you forgot about your SD card, you're still using the same SD card, so you're getting the same quality and you're wondering why. It's because you didn't upgrade your SD card to also fit that camera.